Every parent has either known someone or probably has had the experience themselves where their child, young child especially, has potentially swallowed something. It still amazes me to this day that children find themselves to be human piggy banks because we see at KidMed kids who have swallowed anything imaginable. If it's a coin, a penny, you know, even to the size of a quarter, for the most part, those things will surprisingly pass through the digestive tract and, and come out without any problem at all. If you think your child swallowed a coin and you see that they're drooling, if you see that they're uh, gagging, they're having trouble breathing, those are absolute reasons to, to bring them in. The concern we have with coins and other foreign bodies that children swallow is there are some narrow areas where they can get caught. At the upper part of the esophagus, which is uh, the, the, essentially the tube leading down to your stomach, right where that meets the stomach, and then right where the stomach leads into the intestines. For the most part, if it passes those three areas, it's gonna be free sailing. And surprisingly, I think most parents would find this interesting, that majority of objects that kids swallow, even if they're somewhat sharp on an edge, really pass through without causing problems. Uh, the things from, from a sharp object standpoint that we would worry about is anything that's maybe two inches long or longer that is sharp on both ends, sort of like a sewing needle, because that can actually get stuck side to side in the esophagus or in the intestines. But if it's round, it's smooth, for the most part, those things can be watched. If you're concerned at all, though, that your child swallowed something, certainly we can evaluate them at Kid Med. The things that we would be able to see on an x-ray would be things that are metallic. Things, unfortunately, that are plastic may not show up, but we certainly could check your children out for their symptoms if they have any difficulty breathing or any difficulty swallowing.